Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today I have Angela joining me. Hey, Angela. Hey, Amanda. Hey guys, we have a really exciting video. We are answering a subscriber's question. So uh, we had a subscriber say, well, how can I revise a situation when I don't even know how I created it? And the person didn't even tell me like what the problem is, why we broke up. So we are going to go through of how you can basically, um, you know, change your circumstances, even if you don't even know how you created them. And yeah, so I'm really excited about this. We've got some success stories to share with you about this. One from Angela, one from Angela's client, one from me. And um, yeah, but just before we dive into it, guys, Angela's having a Valentine's Day sale, 20% off of her coaching and courses. It's amazing. Her Awaken to I Am course really does cover everything, um, you know, and it's going to help you to get back into that God state and be able to create a way. So really exciting. And yeah, guys, if you don't know already, we do have a free course, how to find your blocks to manifest anything fast, completely free link is in the description. If you go to download it, and it says that you've already been on our list, just email us at sessions at createyourfuture.co and Brandy will be more than happy to send you a copy of it because I'm really proud of that course. And it's getting a lot of great feedback as well as Angela's courses as well. I like courses because I like doing them myself because it it's the, it's like a, a lot of time that I'm going to focus on something, you know what I mean? Rather. And it's paced through rather than, you know, leaving it up to my own devices, you know, when I'd rather watch TV or whatever, it's actually sitting down and focusing, you know, that time on what I actually want. So I find that really exciting. So yeah, let's dive in. So your success story. I, I'm okay. so excited. Yes. Yeah, so I had a client that he had a falling out, uh, a, a breakup with his specific person. And so I want to add also, you know, um, a specific person is anyone in your life that you want to have a different outcome in that relationship. So if it's romantic, um, a friendship, a boss, whatever. But for this um, client, he had um, a falling out with his specific person and he did not know what had happened. Um, this person basically just kind of turned a cold shoulder, would not talk to him, would not respond to him. Um, he tried to reach out. He tried to, you know, say, what have I done? Can I fix something? Um, and he basically just got a cold wall. Even other people in their group were kind of noticing that, you know, hey, you've kind of had um, something happen here. What's going on? So he was really feeling very frustrated about the situation. He didn't really know what to do because he had tried in the 3D to reach out. He was more than happy to apologize if he you know, knew what he had done and he couldn't figure out what was wrong. So as we began to process the situation, you know, he he came to the conclusion I did not do anything intentionally. You know, I there's nothing that I can think of that I did um with the intent of causing a problem or creating a situation here. I really can't think of anything at all that I've done. So, you know, he said I I'm really I don't deserve this and I'm innocent of being treated this way. So our decision was to just create, you know, those intentions and affirmations that whatever had happened was done. It was over and the situation was behind them. And he wanted the relationship to move forward and to basically go back to what it was before, you know, a healthy relationship. So those were the intentions. He kind of quit trying to figure it out. He quit trying to figure out what maybe he had, he had done and just decided, no, you know what? I, I didn't do anything on purpose and I wanted to go back to what it was. Those were the intentions. And he also wanted, you know, this person to be the one to reach out and to make that first move. So it was not very long at all, maybe like a week or so after he kind of turned the situation around in his thinking that his specific person reached out to him and just started talking to him as if nothing was wrong, as if the relationship picked up right where it left off and everything was fine. And that is exactly what he had wanted. That is how, you know, what he intended. And so, you know, everything just moved forward like nothing had happened, like the experience never even, you know, occurred in the relationship. And that's exactly what he wanted. And he got what he intended. I love that. I love that, you know, and you know, it is sometimes like 
literally that simple. So it was funny. I, something happened to me recently. So I was messaging someone and, you know, I've had a rocky relationship with this person in the past. Right. Anyway, so I messaged them and they didn't message me back. And, you know, and it, like, and it, what the day passed, right. And then it messaged me back then the next day. And I was like, why aren't they messaging me back? So then I was like, oh, are they mad at me? Did I do something wrong? Like, what did I do to upset them? I'm like, I have no idea what I did. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to look. And I checked the text message and it said red. And I'm like, oh my goodness, they read it. They actually read it. They must be mad at me. They haven't texted me back. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I had a moment where I was like, Amanda, everyone's you pushed out and your thoughts create. I'm like, get a hold of yourself here. I'm like, there's many times that you've gotten a message and like it said red because you accidentally clicked on it, but you know, you didn't actually like read it or you were going to respond to it later and you forgot. And then I was like, no, you know what? No, they're not mad at me. I've done nothing wrong. They're totally fine. They're going to message me back. And then sure enough, later that day, they actually messaged me back. Right. So, you know, sometimes when, you know, we've, we've got to watch ourselves, you know, like we, we create in the moment, like we've taken, okay. So in my case, I went, okay, they didn't message me back. And as the time ticked on my story spiraled out of control and got worse and worse and worse. And that's what actually created that, to, you know, that, experience for me, that reality of me that they were mad. It was my thoughts. I mean, they just didn't text me back for whatever reason. And then I started making it into this big thing, <laughs> you know, and then gathering evidence in my favor that they were mad because they read the message and still didn't text me back. Right. You know, and then as soon as I shifted to no, you know what, we're totally fine. They're going to text me back. They actually said, sorry, you know what? I totally didn't see this. And I just replied, you know, so they went with what I had thought, you know, when I came to my senses and said, oh, they just didn't see it. And they got busy. She's like, oh, I, I didn't see it that I did. And I got busy. And I was like, oh, yeah, no problem. I'm like, it's fine. I'm like, I was fine. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> wasn't fine. But, you know, we've got to be careful what we give things in our reality mean. That's, I think, one of the very, you know, first things. Right. Yes. And I, I, I feel like sometimes human nature is we, we feel like we're responsible. We feel like we have to fix it. We feel like we've done something wrong. We very easily take on guilt. And when we do that, we're pushing that out. But, you know, like this client, he just simply refocused that, that thought to, wait a minute, you know, I haven't done anything wrong. Everything's fine. It's like it never happened. And if we could just get focused on thinking in that direction, rather than feeling like, you know, we're guilty or what have I done or, you know, carrying that burden, basically, we tend to carry that burden. And that burden definitely is more than happy <laughs> to show up and reflect back for you in the 3D. Well, exactly. And I think, you know, I also want to answer the question that we had for the subscribers in the beginning was, it was like, I think it was a breakup. And they're like, well, I don't know why they don't want to be with me. How do I revise that situation? So if you have a situation where you don't know why it's happening, I mean, it could have been as simple as my situation where somebody didn't reply back and I, well, and I gave it a meaning, you know, that they were mad at me. But if someone's actually said, look, at, I just don't want to be with you and doesn't give you any reason for that, then, you know, what I would sometimes suggest is, you know, take a look at where any thoughts that you had, um, you know, but it could be as simple as you thinking they don't want to be with you and there's no reason. And they say, I don't want to be with you. I don't have a reason. Then you turn it around and just say, just as plainly as that, they do want to be with me. And there was no reason why they didn't because there wasn't, you just thought it. So it showed up. You don't always necessarily need to know why something has been created more than you do need to focus definitely on what you want to create instead and just revise any little bits of things that people have said to you. You know what I mean? So if they say, well, I don't want to be with you, then that needs to be revised. Do they do want to be with you? You don't necessarily have to dig in the trenches to figure out how you created it because sure, you can spend four hours doing that, but that doesn't change your situation. You still need to focus on what you want, right? Yes. So yeah, go to the you know, unless something obvious came out, like I remember Andrew, when I wanted to move in with him, he said he had baggage. So of course, you know, I had to intend he's over his baggage as part of my living in the end, because he told me his baggage was stopping him from being in a committed relationship. So I couldn't gloss over that. But did I need to sit down and spend a weekend to try to figure it out? No, you know, everything is pretty much right in front of you, right? And if whatever's right in front of you, take it at face value, change it don't really need to go in deeply and try to figure out how you're creating these things, right? 
Yes, absolutely. And it's focusing on that end goal, you know, focusing on what, what you want. You want the happy relationship. You want things behind you as far as that problem. You want to be in a good relationship with this person. That's the most important and keeping the mental diet focused on that. We so often rehash, rehash, rehash. But if you're rehashing, you're keeping yourself stuck in that spot. So don't try to figure all of it out. You don't have to. What do you want? It's such a simple question. What do you want? peace, harmony, you know, a good relationship. That's where the focus needs to be. Exactly. And I mean, I do, we do on occasion, you know, we, we do say, well, look at, you know what, take your, you know, basically when we, we want you to focus on your current reality, your current thoughts, your current feelings, what the person has currently said to you, identify that and then change it. That is a very, very important part of this, right? Because, you know, those things are created and they will stay in play. But mostly what we're talking about here is if you don't know how you created something, then, you know, don't really spend too much of the time trying to figure that out because you know it it's like you could say well I don't know he just doesn't want to be with me then he's going to reflect it back well I just don't know I just don't want to be with you that's your block right there it's yeah. not any more complicated than what you're hearing reflected back in your 3d what your thoughts are and what your feelings are about the situation so just identify those and move them forward so they can for instance, Angela's client's case, it was like the, I don't know what I did wrong, but something's off. Okay. I did nothing wrong. They're over it. We're back to normal. As simple as that, right? Yes. Yes. Overcomplicating sometimes makes a situation more difficult to get through. So it's, it's just very, it's very simple. And what presents itself, that's what you look at. That's what you work with. And then you create an intention that moves you forward, you know, and if you need to apologize, you can affirm, you know, I have that opportunity to apologize and they're very receptive and they forgive me. If you want someone to apologize to you, you can affirm for those things too. You know, whatever is showing up that you need to deal with, you just affirm in that direction. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's like life is just constantly observing and going, okay, so like in my case, I was like, well, I don't know what I did, but she's mad at me because she hasn't replied back. So <laughs> in my case was, okay, I want to talk to this person, right? Now, is that story helping me? And then me sitting down going, okay, how did I create this? Well, it was as simple as I created it in the moment when I realized I wasn't getting a text message back as quickly as I usually do. In that moment, I said, oh, what did I do wrong? They're obviously mad at me for something boom that's my block right there there wasn't any you know deep-seated issues that I needed to sit down and dump out you know my reality was was I wasn't getting a text back as quickly as I usually do I was thinking they were mad at me and you know and those were the things that I needed to change and revise and you know and, it, and it's really always right there in front of us you know if you say to yourself I don't know what my blocks are though then you say I have no blocks but if you say well they said they don't want a commitment and they have baggage then that's your block you have to say they're over their baggage and ready for a commitment you really have to do the opposite of what your thoughts are so if your thoughts are I don't know why they don't want to be with me then your thought should be I know why they want to be with me right, right. so you know it's really just mirroring it and it's so simple but you know we like to complicate things sometimes <laughs> We like to spiral out of control for no reason over a simple text message of what kind of flavor cake do you want? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely amazing. Well, guys, you know what? I intend that this video has helped people. Um, I know I've seen this this question in the comments a lot of how do I change something if I don't know how I created it um, you know just go with what you're seeing in your reality um, revise that go with what you're thinking just like seriously just literally what you're thinking and then change it to what you actually want so thank you so much for being here today Angela oh, I loved it thank you I broke a pen <laughs> oh, <oops. laughs> fiddling with a pen I broke it um, <laughs> that's a cheap pen anyways guys <laughs> thank you for liking commenting sharing and subscribing and me and my cheap pen are gonna <laughs> go do something else now <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much and we will see you in the next video it was jerry's fault he broke the pen oh goodbye <laughs>